Hey guys! I'm sorry, I'm so dressed up today. I Taylor Swift was my inspiration. I actually look like my mother. This is her shirt, and I'm like, I keep looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, I look like my mother. Um, but my mom obviously is more professional than me. She doesn't wear this much makeup. It looks better on the camera than it does in real life. Sheesh. I wish I looked like I did on the camera. <laughs> um, oh, my lipstick's gone funky. Um, anyways. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Um, 2014 held a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Um, I am spending this new year with a different group of people than I thought I would initially. Um, I've made two really awesome friends um, in college. Um, I have started to see the brighter side of things. Um, uh, there was graduation, um, which was fun, like you wouldn't believe. Um, there was my final coffee house, uh, the Titanic performance at Lincoln Center. I'm going to start crying, um, and I have makeup on. The Titanic. Holy crud, Titanic was probably the most... It's so funny, because it's my least favorite show that I've ever done, but it's also my most favorite. It's got the best memories for me. Um, um, 2014 brought heartbreak with not being able to join the theater department at Fordham. Um, but also, new beginnings. I'm a poli-sci major. Shouldn't dress like this if I'm going to do that with the rest of my life. Um, I'm a poli-sci major, but I'm also realizing that I really love English, and I've begun work on my first ever play, and it's my first, so I don't really intend to do much with it, but I would really love if one day I could get it to a point where I could get it published. Um, my play is called If I Hadn't, and I'm really proud of it so far. I've been editing Act 1, I'm working on Act 2 now. Um... I have decided, so I, I'm just putting this out there now, um, I want to do mission work in uh, other countries, Eastern European countries mostly, um, with their, with, and probably here as well, I'd start, I'd start in New York City and then work my way over to Europe and eventually Eastern Europe, um, and maybe even China if I'm allowed to work there. China and Russia are hard, um, but work with kids in orphanages and teach them music. Um, I would really love to do that, like music and uh, acting, even though like I really I'm terrible with languages, so I wouldn't speak it very well. But just to be able to like teach them the joys of art really is what I want to do, um, and not necessarily for a living, but definitely for some point of my life, um, I really want to do that, I actually 100% want to do that, um, 2014 brought new people, um, new experiences, I'm living in the city, I love it now, I didn't love it first, um, it brought realizations, you should never make decisions because of someone else, um, this time of year especially, y'all are applying to colleges, any of you guys applying to colleges, apply to colleges that make you happy and choose the one that you love. I love Fordham, yes, um, but it, I really wanted to go to Skidmore, and I would have been able to be in, a, in the theater major, or even Gettysburg, I was invited to the theater major, um, and I didn't go because I thought that um, I would be better off in New York City for purpose of a relationship, and it didn't work out, but I ended up being a real city girl anyways, um, <laughs> which I love, um, Upper West Side for the win, however, I love all of it, Upper East Side is fun too, so is the, uh, financial district, actually, it's very pretty, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to 2015. I'm doing this because I won't be home. I was going to do it, like, right before midnight, but I won't be home. Um, yeah. 
It brought a lot of new music opportunities. I started recording, which I never thought I would ever do. I hate recording. Um, and I am. And none of you know it because you guys haven't heard it yet, but I promise when I start releasing stuff, hopefully you'll love it. Um, at least I do, so I really hope you do. Yeah. Um. 2014, uh, has been a nightmare and a daydream. It's been a fantasy land and my own personal hell. Um, which I suppose is really every year, <laughs> when you think about it, it has its ups and downs. Um, I'm happy to be working towards my own personal mental health, um, and I'm glad that I have people there to support me, and I've had people who have stuck with me through it all that still choose to be with me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I so thank you all, um, thank you all on, your, on my Tumblr, um, it's been a fantastic year, and I'm looking forward to 2015, a new opportunity. From my heart to yours, I'm wishing you and your family a happy New Year's.